Hello guys from Open Gate. Our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to ask for help. Hey guys, everything's fine with you. Everything's fine with us too. Today we came to see a case of a horse. The owner called us, called for Renato to come and do the hoofing. And Renato will explain to you better what happened to this one animal and what we'll be doing. Take a look here so you can see what happened. Guys, look at it. Renato will lift here now. It just happened, you can see it's coming off the inside liquid. Yeah, the hoof wall was lifted, cracked it, peeled. It is the hoof wall, right? Yes, it's the hoof wall. Come out in one piece. In a way of saying this is the outer wall, that tougher cover. Well, so I believe that, well, I have never seen it that way. Either I believe that it must have given a fungus or an anaerobic bacteria, maybe laminitis, and you see there is not friction, so that's why it has to be removed. It doesn't say that is it, but I imagine this. In the case of Renato, he already had something inside that made it easy. Yes, you can see that the wall is dry. There is no connection, there is no life here. Well, it's already dry. It's a hoof that was already there. Today we're getting here uh, this afternoon to be able to take care of it and remove it from here because otherwise the pain here is great. You can see that it's loose. There's nothing, but it's up here. Up here that he's sensitive, so he's feeling a lot of pain. And let's, let's try to cut it. Nothing like that happened to a horse. I called the vet and he, he blocked it, the pain, and demonstrated a local anesthetic to be able to remove and cut the hoof. So we're fine. You will have to use the center, Renato. I'm going to try to cut it with the cutter so I can move as minimum as possible. If you get scared, I will get to hold pincers and I will get part by part without trying to move the top as little as possible so that I can have a minimum of pain and then do the trimming. In the case later, you will relieve it, taking away his pain by removing the tip. Yes, I'm going to remove this tip and then I'm going to use it here and move it there. But first let's try to remove this tip here. In the case of Renato, you can change it up here. If I remove here on the coronary corium, if I remove here on the coronary, this is the growth part of the hoof. And if I remove it there, probably the hoof will grow with a defect. The intention is in it. The intention is to remove the lower part, lower down, and allow the coronary band Coronary cordium grow without anything interfering, so it, if I cut it here, it goes for a scar on the hoof, in a way. In this case, it is as if you were removing the root of the hoof, if you remove everything, it would not be born anymore. It does not cease to be born, but it's born with a defect, such as a callus. Slow down. Look at this, guys. Took it off. But that end was left on top, and Renato will remove it little by little. And now, Renato will use the hoop pincers. Yes. Now let's go to the traditional tools. Look at the guys, 
Under the hood, it is well grown. It is dry and hard. Sorry? It's dry and hard. It's one of the reasons. The hood, when dry, has a greater probability of breaking and cracking. That's what happened here. In addition to the fungus that was inside. Well, maybe, right, we don't know, we're guessing. Let's not give sure, but it may have led to the raising of the frontal part. It's best that it's best that he doesn't feel it. It's difficult for him not to hold it there because he needs to squeeze it with his leg and he's squeezing the bottom part with sensitive. He's the one with the neck. Go this way. Guys, let's see what can be done now. Comfortable. has to remove it little by little I don't know if I come here he will complain is in it Renato Now long-term care, right Renato, to return to normal. 
It can be defective. Probably, right, Renato? Yeah, yeah l l let's think it will. It's hard to get to the original who back to normal here. Ah, maybe not. Size. Well, let's put on the floor. Turn on lights and breathe. Say to me, look, it's already been raped. It can't be pulled over to stay fixed. And there is already been a bit of granular tissue here. Granular tissue, Renato. And what is this granular tissue? It is the famous root and meat of the horse. That is, it grows in the recovery of the horse. His tissue is more accelerated. So it gets the granular tissue. So it becomes a spongy meat. So the meat is spongy. Uh, yeah, and it ends up stuffing. It end up wanting to push that piece out and not let it stick in place. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's going to wash now. Washing. Going part by part. We're not uh, seeing what has to be done. Renato is, is putting some silicon. Yeah, it's a moldable silicon. And for what, Renato? Well, we're going to try this here to give comfort in this part to support him better. It is the part that he forced the most to step on. Is it? it? Well, there it works in things basically. I'm also going to put the plaster because it helps not to collect the dirt around here and the comfort for him to be able to step on the silicon also helps me to put on the plaster. In this case, he will force it further on and it will ease up on the front. Yes, I'm going to apply some plaster here to protect the wall a little and the, the, and then the rest of this wall and try to return that top part. And ends up relieving that front part a little bit with the silicone. This part, Renato, you will press for... That's the intention, right? Give you pressure to be able to hold.
Bettered, the animal improved, the gait of the animal improved. Renato put a mask under here to compensate. Compensate for who foot step and give him more comfort. To compensate for the step. And he also put a synthetic plaster. It's a band that he rolls up dry and turns into plaster. It even gave Renato work. He had to remove the little pieces that were left. Look at this, guys. It's really hard. It turned into a plaster. That's it. Now it's going to get better, isn't it, Renato? I certainly did my best. I did my best to be able to do this here without too many resources. But we wait for the hole to grow now and we will wait and see. You believe in the well, guys. Took it off. Let me get the access here, show you the one that was broken, that was up. Oh, let's put on the place to see. It's from the hole. Look at it. This one, he walked, leaned on the ground, lifted and hurt. He walked and pressed this here at the top. Yeah, even so. Even if I press here, look. Done, guys. Finishing here, guys. One more animal here, feeling less pain. Here. Here, any for you here.